you're listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed with Cass Duffhill, and I'm determined to show you that you can be a heart-led entrepreneur and create a wildly abundant business. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, I'll share with you a unique blend of simple, soulful marketing and revenue-generating business tips so you can grow a lasting legacy beyond the constraints of one-to-one. Welcome to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Soulful Marketing Unleashed. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be uncovering a topic that might surprise a few of you, but today we are going to be talking about social media and how social media is not a marketing strategy. Ah, I can hear the screams. I can hear the screams from here. But social media is actually not a strategy and I'm going to talk you through why and I'm going to talk you through what you can do instead of focusing on just your social media to actually create a marketing strategy that works. Understanding the role that social media plays is really fundamental for you to be able to understand how to effectively grow your business. So truth bomb, social media, no, it is not a marketing strategy. Social media, it's such a buzzword. Everyone is into social media. Everyone's on social media. And every time I turn around, somebody else is selling a different strategy on how you can crush it on social media. Thing is, most of them aren't right when it comes to our industry. And that's why I wanted to do this episode today. I think it's time that we lift the veil off and I want to jump off the bandwagon and be really honest and real with you about what social media is and how you should be using it in your business. Now, many soulful entrepreneurs mistakenly treat social media as their entire marketing strategy. It is the only place that they show up. They are only on Facebook and Instagram. They are there so much that they do it at the loss of every other potential marketing channel. Now, when you realize that at the moment, statistically less than 1% of your audience are going to jump off social media and onto your website, which is traditionally where you're getting people to book in with you or buy something from you, you are putting all of your eggs in a very, very, very small basket by just focusing on your Instagram and your Facebook channels. Yes, social media can be a very powerful tool, and I do think it's an important part of a marketing strategy, but social media alone is not a marketing strategy. It has to be used correctly within an ecosystem with other marketing channels and other activities, so they build on each other and they benefit from each other. So what is a marketing strategy? You're probably thinking, you've just told me that social media is not a strategy. So what is? To put it really simply, it's the marketing that you put behind your goals and objectives to achieve your sales targets, your revenue targets, your client numbers that you're aiming for. It has a purpose. So your marketing strategy encompasses every aspect of your business. It covers your branding, your messaging, your niche, your unique proposition. It covers your target clients, your products, your services, your offers. And yes, social media is one of the channels that you will be using. But in this day and age and with the competitiveness that is out there right now, social media alone will not get you very good traction. Unless, of course, you're standing up as an influencer, which is a slightly different marketing strategy and not generally where soulful entrepreneurs, healers, helpers, etc., like us actually align. So your social media needs to be part of a more comprehensive plan and a plan that I call your marketing ecosystem. And it comes from understanding your business as a whole. What is the value you offer, what are you aiming for, what are the goals, what are the targets. Your marketing ecosystem maps out how your business is going to reach and retain clients, how it's going to grow an audience, how your business will generate leads and sales 
for itself. That is what your marketing plan does. And you can see with that understanding in mind how social media alone is not going to be enough. I know for some of you, I've had this conversation a lot lately as well, that it feels overwhelming. It feels time consuming. You're already spending a lot of time on Facebook and Instagram, for example, and you don't know how you can expand from that. Well, the truth is when you learn to plan things in advance, create in batches and schedule them in advance, it takes a lot of the pressure off. You can create so much more in advance in bulk than you can by trying to do an individual post every single day on the fly. I promise you that. Every client who's worked with me in my marketing programs understands how easy it becomes when you have a plan in place. So I really want you to take off that overwhelmed hat right now. You can do more than just social media. In a space that we are right now where we are in a little bit of an economic downturn and many of my clients are reporting that they're seeing the effects of that, but we're also in a space where the market's cluttered, where there is a lot of noise and you're all fighting for space online. What's important right now is to have a marketing strategy, and I call it a visibility marketing strategy. It's how you stand up and be seen in more than one space. I often get told, Cass, you're everywhere. I see you on Instagram, and then I go on Facebook and you're there, but then you're also on a podcast and you're also on YouTube, and then I see you guesting in these masterclasses, and you're on Pinterest, and you're on all of these different spaces. How do you do it? How do you get the time? Let me tell you the truth of it. And right now I am running as a one woman show. I don't have a VA. I don't have an assistant. Get past Christmas and we'll have someone back. But right now it's just me. But because I run a batch and schedule style of marketing strategy, and I also use very savvy recycling of my social media content into other platforms and other spaces, it is actually a lot easier than you might think to be able to show up in multiple platforms. To be visible, I really think you need to start mastering two platforms. So that might be Instagram and Facebook because you can duplicate between the two I class that as one and adding one more. Whether you want to start being on Pinterest, maybe it's TikTok. Perhaps you like video and you like to speak. So maybe YouTube is where you should be. But pick two platforms, master those, And then you can grow from there. You will learn where your audience is, where your target market is, and then you can show up in those spaces as well. But how does social media then fit into this overall marketing strategy? I do think it is an important part and I do think it can be really potent, but it is equally as potent as something like your email marketing or your SEO or your content marketing, perhaps it's PR and and relationships or networking. Every element of your marketing ecosystem has its own level of importance. And when you implement them all together, you get a synergy where all of them working together gives you an outcome that's greater than the individual parts. It really is an amazing outcome. And that outcome is what I call visibility marketing. You get a broader brand awareness, you will engage with a larger audience, you'll be seen more, and it will drive more traffic for you than just focusing on your social media alone. The other side of getting this mobilized in your business is that it will drive leads and it will drive sales. And my friend, that is the whole point. You're in business to make sales. So that's what you're trying to do. So moving beyond using just a social media platform as your entire marketing strategy and putting together that as one piece of the bigger marketing ecosystem puzzle, your marketing strategy needs to outline what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, what do those messages look like and where you're going to say it to get the outcome and the results that you desire to get. Social media will, yes, play a part of that, but it's part of the broader picture. So you need to take a look at that bigger picture and work out what it is you're trying to achieve, what it is you need to say, and where you need to show up and say it. I think in the current climate, social media has a great role to play for awareness and branding. I 
find that a lot of people will come and go to your website and check you out. Then they will bounce over and check out your social media platforms before coming back to book in with you, book a consult, buy a package, buy a program. So I think it is a really important part of branding and awareness. So I wouldn't leave social media and not do it at this point in time. But I think you need to give it the priority that it deserves and it deserves to move down a few rungs right now when elements like your email marketing will get so much more traction for you in this current climate. If you can start to think of social media as just one of the marketing vehicles available to you to develop your business, to deliver your messages, to reach your target audience, then you're putting social media in the right priority bucket. Remember too that social media landscapes are always shifting. The algorithms are continuously changing. Trends are evolving. We seem to be getting new platforms every so often and engagement levels are fluctuating. So if your entire marketing strategy is based on a social media platform, you are reliant on something you have no control over. What happens when the rules change? What happens when the algorithm changes? What happens when you have to start paying for the platform? What happens when who knows what? You don't have any control. You don't know what's coming. So having an entire priority just on a social media platform is a very, very huge risk. And it is one that I don't think you should be taking in your business. You should mediate that risk by using a number of different marketing channels. A very well-rounded and comprehensive marketing ecosystem is one that leverages multiple platforms and multiple channels. It is a very well equipped to weather things that are unexpected. You will be able to face algorithm changes or a global pandemic and you will have plans in place to be able to do that. If you lose a platform, it won't be such a dire problem because you have other spaces and channels to be using. Having a diversified marketing ecosystem also gives you a way to pivot and diversify when things change or when other opportunities arrive. Let's say that advertising costs on your current social media platform are getting too expensive. Well, then you might be able to move to another one. Let's say all of a sudden people are very, very interested in a brand new platform. You can go and add yourself on there. So it's really important to be able to be fluid and flexible and take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. So overall, I just want to remind you today that a successful marketing strategy isn't just about using a social media channel. It's about creating an integrated approach, an approach that I call a marketing ecosystem that includes multiple channels, multiple touch points, multiple levels of awareness, which gives your audience multiple opportunities to interact with you and to engage with you and to get to know what you're all about. Because the goal of your marketing, whether you're using social media or some other channel, is to build the know, like, and trust with your audience to lead them down the path of working with you. Like I say to so many of my one-to-one clients, marketing is a journey that takes your potential clients down a path where working with you becomes the next logical step. It's about aligning your activities towards your goals and towards the results that you want to achieve. And that is how you will maximize the effectiveness of all of your marketing overall, not just your social media channels. It's important to across your social media right now to remember one thing. It's called social for a reason. Social media was supposed to be social. It's become a platform where it's very sales focused and and rather dominated by sales and business style posts. So don't forget to be social. Think about how you can start conversations. How can you get to know your audience? Share stories, share anecdotes, motivational quotes, share the funny things that happen in your life, things that stem from your experiences, your values, your belief systems. The more authentic you can be, the quicker and easier you can build know, like, and trust with people because they feel like they know you. But you need to create this relatable content so your audience has 
the ability to connect with you on a deeper level. I hope that's been really helpful for you today, understanding where social media sits within your broader marketing ecosystem or marketing strategy, and to understand that social media alone does not a marketing strategy make. I thank you for being here. It's been great to have you, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next episode of Soulful Marketing Unleashed. Thank you for listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. If you are ready to create soulful success in your business, grab my guide to soulful revenue creation and start creating your wildly abundant life. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next episode.